7.36 p.m. on Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. Um, good evening. My name is Christian Klein. I'm the chair of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals. I'm calling this meeting of the board to order. Confirm all members and anticipated officials are present. Uh, members from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, Roger DuPont. Here. Patrick Hanlon. Here. Kevin Mills. Here. Sean O'Rourke. Here. Aaron Ford. Here. And Stephen Revelack. Here. Wonderful. Um, from the town, uh, Rick Valarelli. I think Rick might have here experienced an audio problems. Okay. And Vincent is here. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so Paul Haverty will not be joining us this evening and Marty Nover will not be joining us this evening. Um, but Stephanie Kiefer is here on behalf of <clears throat> Thorndike Place. Okay. Saw that our Cliffville and Gwen Noyce are on as well. Okay, so this open meeting of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals is being conducted remotely consistent with an act extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency signed into law on June 16th, 2021. This act includes by extent an extension until April 1st, 2022 of the remote meeting provisions of Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 executive order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, which suspended the requirements to hold all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed to continue to participate remotely. Public bodies may continue to meet remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. An opportunity for public participation will be provided during the public comment period during each public hearing. For this meeting, the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals has convened a video conference via the Zoom application with online and telephone access as listed on the agenda posted to the town's website, identifying how the public may join. This meeting is being recorded and it will be broadcast by ACMI. Please be aware that attendees are participating by a variety of means. Some attendees are participating by video conference. Other participants are participating by computer audio or by telephone. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you, your screen name, or another identifier. Please take care to not share personal information. Anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. We ask you to please maintain decorum during the meeting, including displaying an appropriate background. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda. As chair, I reserve the right to take items out of order in the interest of promoting an orderly meeting. So the first item on our agenda, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Thorndike Place just so we can quickly uh, move through that. That should go very quickly. Um, I did want to bring up one document. Okay, so uh, turning to the comprehensive permit hearing for Thorndike Place. Um, at the prior hearing, the discussion focused on aspects of the proposed senior independent living building for Thorndike Place. There were several questions and concerns raised during the hearing and several parties, including the applicant, town departments, and the peer review engineers have requested additional time to properly respond to those questions and concerns. The sole purpose for meeting this evening is to vote on motions to extend the public hearing period and to continue the hearing to a date certain. There will be no introduction of new information at this meeting, and there will not be an introduction of public testimony at this meeting. Um, I will bring up um, <clears throat> So here's the proposed schedule for upcoming public hearings for Thorndike Place. Um, the next we would be voting this evening to continue to the date of Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. Um, which, and we would be including, discussing the a coordinated proposal by the applicant and revised waiver, waiver requests. Um, after that meeting, um, Paul Haverty, our legal consultant, will be revising the draft decision to align with the updated proposal and requested waivers. The revised draft will be released publicly on or before September 2nd. Um, 
and then a hearing to discuss the draft decision will be held Thursday, September 9th at 7.30 p.m. The vote will be taken at the end of that hearing on whether the board has received the testimony necessary to render a decision. Um, and then the public hearing period is scheduled to expire on or before Friday, September 17th, 2021. So basically what that means is um, we, tonight we're voting to continue to August 3rd. At the August 3rd hearing, we'll be discussing the project and the aspects of the project. Um, and then the decision will be, the draft decision that was previously released will be uh, revised to accord to the new plans and the new proposed project. Uh, that will be released to the public uh, by the 2nd of September. And then on the 9th of September, we'll be meeting to discuss that draft decision. Um, if we have all the information at the end of that hearing and the board feels it has received all the testimony it needs, we can vote to close the public hearing. Um, if not, we are meeting on the 14th, on, excuse me, on the 14th. Uh, so we can continue to that date if we need some additional time. Um, otherwise, if we, if we, if there are still outstanding items um, and we're in agreement that we still have outstanding things we need to discuss then we would need to talk about extending the review period again but um, I'm hopeful that we can conclude everything within this proposed timeline but we would all comments we would need to have in before we close the public comment period and then after the public hearing is closed uh, per statute the board has 40 days to discuss and finalize its decision So with that in mind, um, are there any questions from the board? Seeing none, any questions from the applicant? No questions. Seeing none, may I have a motion to extend the public hearing for Thorndike Place to Friday, September 17th, 2021. So moved. Thank Second. you. Mr. DuPont, go to the board. Mr. DuPont? Aye. Mr. Hanlon? Aye. Mr. Mills? Aye. Mr. O'Rourke? Aye. Mr. Revelack? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Chair votes aye. So we have, we're extending the public hearing period until Friday, September 17th, 2021. And then may I have a motion to continue the Thorndike Place hearing until Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. So moved. Mr. Second. Thank you, Mr. DuPont. Uh, roll call vote of the board, Mr. DuPont. Aye. Mr. Hanlon. Aye. Mr. Mills. Aye. Mr. O'Rourke. Aye. Aye. Mr. Revelack. Aye. Mr. Ford. Aye. And chair votes aye. So we are continued on Thorndike Place until Tuesday, August 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Thank you all very much for that. We will start all then. Um, so now I will turn to a couple of business items on the on our agenda for this evening. Uh, these items relate to operations of the board and as such will be con conducted without input from the general public. The board will not take up any new business on prior hearings, nor will there be the introduction of any new information on matters previously brought before the board. After introducing the items, I'll invite board members to provide any co comments, questions, or motions. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking and speak clearly. Um, so the first item is the approval of the decision for 55 Sutherland Road. Um, this was discussed at our, <coughs> excuse me, our June, tw uh, June 29th hearing. Uh, we. Uh, Mr. Hanlon put together a draft decision that was circulated to the board. Um, I know some comments have come back in. Are there any additional questions or comments in regards to that decision? Seeing none, excuse me, may I have a motion? Um, Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, the board approve the written decision in uh, 55 Sutherland Road as was uh, distributed to the board uh, at five o'clock this afternoon. Thank you. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Black. 
The roll call vote of the board. Uh, Mr. Andrew Dupont? Aye. Mr. Hanlon? Aye. Mr. Mills? Aye. Mr. Revelak? Aye. The chair votes aye. So that decision is approved for 55 Sutherland Road. Uh, next item is um, vote to approve the decision for 10 Sunnyside Avenue. Uh, similar to the previous one, um, this was heard at the June 21st, 29th hearing, excuse me. Um, the written decision was prepared by Mr. Hanlon and distributed to everyone for their review and comment. Are there any additional questions or comments in regards to 10 Sunnyside Avenue? Seeing none, may I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'm, I move that the board approve the written decision in uh, uh, 10 Sunnyside Avenue uh, in the version that was distributed to the board at about five o'clock this afternoon. Perfect, thank you. May I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. DuPont. Uh, roll call vote of the board. Uh, Mr. DuPont? Aye. Mr. Hanlon? Aye. Mr. Mills? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. And the chair votes aye. So the Decision for 10 Sunnyside Avenue is approved. Excellent. Um, we are basically done for the night, but I just want to quickly go through our upcoming meetings. Um, just to make sure everyone has them on their schedule. Uh, so our next public hearing is Monday, July 19th at 7.30 PM, which is a continuation of 1165 Massachusetts Avenue. And that um, is scheduled to close on the 23rd, um, on or before the 23rd. So uh, at this, at the hearing on the 19th, we will be discussing uh, primarily the decision and the, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the findings and the conditions on the, on a potential decision. So that's coming up on the 19th. Um, and then we are, the next thing after that is Tuesday, August 3rd. Now we have the continuation of Thorndike Place at 7.30. Um, Thursday, September 9th at 7.30, it's Thorndike Place again. Uh, Tuesday, September 14th at 7.30, will be a hearing for a new project at 2020A Lafayette Street. And Friday, September 17th, is the scheduled close of the public hearing for Thorndike Place. There any any questions on those dates? I, I lost track in my calendar. Could you just uh, go over the last three, starting with the ninth? Sure. Mo Monday. Thank you. So the the three September dates we have so far. Um, so Thursday the ninth at seven thirty p.m. will be Thorndike Place, and then Tuesday September fourteenth at seven thirty be 20 and 20A Lafayette Street. And if there are others that come in, um, Rick, are you anticipating more for that evening? I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, can you hear me? I had to go to a phone in. Yeah, no, I can hear you. Yeah, we may have one more. I think it's a minor request, an open space. I don't know if they're going to have the material in on time. If they do, I'm going to team that up with the uh, 14th. Okay. So right now, definitely uh, 2020 A Lafayette. Perfect. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Um, and then the, the last date is September 17th, uh, Friday, is the scheduled close of the public hearing for Thorndike Place. Any other questions? Seeing none. Well, thank you all for your participation in tonight's meeting of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals. I appreciate everyone's patience throughout the meeting. I especially wish to thank uh, Rick Bellarelli and Vincent Lee for their assistance preparing for and hosting this online meeting. Please note the purpose of the board's recording this meeting is to ensure the creation of an accurate record of the proceedings. It's our understanding the recordings made by ACMI will be available on demand at acmi.tv within the coming days. If anyone has comments or recommendations, please send them via email to zba at town.arlington.ma.us. That email address is also listed on the Zoning Board of Appeals website. And to conclude tonight's meeting, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Hanlon. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Redlack.
Roll call vote the board. Mr. Dupont. Aye. Mr. Hanlon. Aye. Mills. Aye. Mr. O'Rourke. Aye. Mr. Revelack. Aye. Mr. Ford. Aye. The chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Thank you all very much for coming out tonight. Steve, you're free to go to dinner. <laughs> hey, hey Christian. Hey Christian, can I ask you a question again? What, what what was the date in August again? I just want to make sure I had the dates right. August three. That's it. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank Night, you. everyone. Thank you. Night, Night, everybody. Night, everybody. Mr. Moore. Thank you. Can I ask you a question through through your question, Mr. Hanlon? Sure. I know that this isn't formal anymore. So yeah, uh, Mr. Hanlon. What is your background? <laughs> That's my background. Are you retired or are you currently working? No, I'm retired. Well, this this is like a full-time job for all of you gentlemen. So yes, uh, you're retired. So what's your background prior to that? I was I spent 30 years practicing law and another several years uh, teaching law at the University of California. Was it was it real estate law, commercial law? No, it was litigation for the most part. I, I know that you are clearly, um, um, but you write well and such. I, I, I was wondering what brought you into this because I know that you tend to, tend to write most of the decisions. Is that correct or am I misunderstanding what I've seen so far? No, I, I for since, I don't know, it, it, sometime last year, I guess in this, during the summer, I, I took up writing the decision. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I was wondering what, what it was that led you to, to be doing that. But, but then, of course, my exposure to the ZBA, and I apologize if I, I don't mean to insult any of the rest of you. I just, that was, I, I was thinking he was writing all the decisions, and I was wondering why that was. That's all. <laughs> I, I don't have to earn a living, and everybody else does. That's... Uh, I see. You just don't run as fast as they do. So, yeah, That's I, I get it. Sneakers. I get it. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We, uh, we have a deep appreciation for Mr. Hanlon's pen. Absolutely. <laughs> ah. Absolutely. Much appreciated, believe me. <laughs> well, I know it's not just Mr. Hanlon. I know that all you guys are working pretty hard. I mean, I've commented on that repeatedly that mm -hmm. uh, particularly, you know, my involvement has just been during a busy time. Um, and I'm hoping it's not busy like that all year round. When someone at the last meeting said something, the effect of, you know, when it slows down a bit, Mm -hmm. sort of laughed on the inside thinking not since I've been part of this has it been slowing down but I hope it does because this is an awful lot of work for all you all you folks yeah, I think I think the next hearing is the 21st hearing um on the on Thorndike Lake wow so, mm. go all, going all the way back to 2016 wow so oh, we're almost there 10 oh. years before that I mean it's, <laughs> that, that this one is been around everyone's neck for quite a while. So it'll be nice to get it, uh, shall I say, disposed of uh, uh, one way or the other uh, pretty, pretty quickly because this has been a real big deal for the town for a long time. And I just want to, again, thank all you gentlemen and, and uh, folks for, for doing the work that you do to make this happen. It goes unsung. And I know that whatever decision you make, you're going to catch flack, but Someone's got to do it, and I'm glad you guys are doing it. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. It. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.